The leadership of Benue State Christian Association of Nigeria, CAN, has said that those involved in animal husbandry should take to ranching, while those in banditry and kidnapping, among other vices, should desist or look elsewhere for safe heaven other than Benue State. The state chairman of the association, Reverend Dr. Akben Liva, made the call in Makrodi amidst rise in cases of attacks and killings in parts of Benue communities by herders in spite of the anti-open grazing law put in place to ensure the safety of lives and property uh, in the state. The state volunteer guard set up to help reduce incidences uh, of attacks. The leadership of CAN says it fully supports the law and the state community volunteer guard and warned that it is not their concern to engage criminals under whatever guise, but to see that Benue people go to bed with both eyes closed. about factors of killing and continued on a budget, it became inevitable for a government that has as part of its responsibilities to protect its citizens to rise up to the challenge. It is for this, among other reasons, that Bono State Community Volunteer Guards came into existence. Let me warn that our concern, majorly, is not to engage criminals under whatever guise, but to enable the Bono people go to bed with both eyes closed and continue with their farming activities. Reverend Leva, who expressed worries over attacks, kidnapping or killings of core members, journalists and other Nigerians, called on the federal government to provide adequate security to protect citizens. At the end of the year is a time that we should sit down one, these two months, we should look into the things we have done for this year. One disturbing issue we already know is the issue of insecurity. Quite recently, most of our youth coppers going to their primary place of assignment have been kidnapped. Some have been killed. We want to call on the federal government to provide adequate security for the youth corps members. And also, the marine activities of the Flanny Hazemen kidnapping, killing in our villages. We want our communities to come up with different security uh, architectures to be able to help their community. The journalist who was covering the House of Representatives, Mr. Todu Salem, who uh, has, has, has been kidnapped, we don't know where he is now, for as about 26 days now. We are calling on the federal government to, as a matter of urgency, look for his release, let him come back alive to us. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.